We're already seeing some of that rainfall into places like San Antonio as of earlier this morning. But San Antonio, your round four, more of those stronger thunderstorms is likely going to be in the forecast throughout the rest of the day today, especially when we tap into that daytime heating. We have that southerly flow, so we're pumping in that moisture from the Gulf Coast, but we're also getting in on some of that moisture from the eastern Pacific. That was from that hurricane just yesterday. Now we're going to continue to monitor even more instability in the the atmosphere when we tap into that daytime heating and then we have the frontal system that'll be swinging through that's creating the lift to provide us with severe weather as we work our way into the rest of the day today. Over the past three hours, lots of showers, widespread shower activity across North Texas and across portions of the Panhandle and West Texas, Southeastern New Mexico. Lots of activity already, but that strongest weather is going to be later in the day today really a widespread area. So anywhere from Arkansas, Louisiana, over into Texas, portions of Oklahoma is where we're going to be looking at that heightened risk. By later on this evening into the overnight hours, this frontal system will move, be moving off to the east. So that's where we're looking at that wind potential being heightened. San Antonio, Corpus Christi, Bryan College Station, Houston, Texas, even up into Shreveport, Bossier City has that heightened risk. Now, as we're talking about that tornado potential. We're also going to be looking at that heightened risk in Lufkin, East Texas, Bryan College Station, along that I-45 corridor, even stretching down into Houston. So you need to make sure you're staying weather aware later on today into the evening hours. Even when you're asleep, make sure you have those alerts on your phone ready to wake you up. Continuing to see those stronger thunderstorms as we work our way into the afternoon, stretching from Oklahoma down into the DFW Metroplex. So again, this is right after lunch to around 6 p.m. Then this front will continue to push all of this activity off to the east now into portions of Arkansas, stretching down along that I-25 corridor, and that's going to be the case along the Gulf Coast by later on this evening. Into the Mississippi River Valley by our Tuesday in the early morning hours, and then we're looking at the central Gulf going to be impacted by that severe weather. Heavy amounts of rainfall is going to be anticipating, so in the darkest shaded area, including Springfield, Missouri, Fort Smith, Tyler, Texas, OKC, is where we have an even heightened risk for flash flooding. We could see localized heavier pockets upwards of three, four inches fall associated with this line of storms later on today. So again, Remember, turn around, don't drown. As we make our way into Tuesday, that threat shifts off to the east, now including portions of the Mid-South and the Central Gulf. So heads up, if you're in Atlanta, Nashville, stretching down to Jackson, you want to make sure you're staying weather aware into our Tuesday morning through the afternoon.